Hey, this is Sianna from Moonlight Feather. Today we're going to be making a simple DIY Thanksgiving centerpiece that you can use on your table this upcoming holiday or for any special occasion. Today we're going to be using a variety of different feathers. First, we have the Brown Turkey Rounds Secondary Wing Quill Tip Feathers. We also have some ivory bleached peacock swords, some 14 to 16 inch natural golden pheasant tail feathers, the 8 to 10 inch golden pheasant red tip feathers, and lastly we have the 6 to 8 inch natural ringneck pheasant feathers. A couple other items you're going to need are a large clear vase, enough bird seed to fill your vase, some artificial greenery or another filler, and some ribbon or burlap. So step one is going to be filling the vase with the bird seed. I have a jar here just to make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna wanna scoop some, pour it right in. So once you have your vase all filled, you're gonna wanna shake the vase just to settle everything down in there enough. And then I left about an inch to a half an inch of space up at the top. Um, you're gonna want enough bird seed in here just to hold all the feathers in place. Our next step is going to be taking our artificial greenery or whatever filler you've decided to choose and we're just going to place it towards the back of the vase. Our next step is going to be to take our longest feathers which are the 14 to 16 inch natural golden pheasant tail feathers. We're just going to be placing these kind of staggered around the greenery. Once you've arranged the tall pheasant feathers to your liking, we're going to move on to the turkey feathers. These are the brown secondary wing turkey feathers. I'm going to place these right in the front. After we're finished with the turkey feathers, we're going to add in some nice fall color with the golden pheasant red tip feathers. These ones are gonna go right in front of the turkey feathers as well. You might need to push these ones a little bit farther in just so that um, they are not as tall as the turkey feathers. Just give it some nice levels. Next, we're gonna move on to our six to eight inch natural ringneck pheasant tail feathers. These ones are gonna go right in front of the red tip feathers. Finally, our last feather is gonna be the ivory bleached peacock swords. And I kind of like to lay these ones out just because they tend to stick together. These are going to go around the lining of the vase. The final step is going to be adding some ribbon just to complete the look. So I'm going to be taking this burlap ribbon and wrapping it around. And we're going to be using some neutral tape in the back just to attach it. But if you really want to, you can tie it or you could use hot glue as well just to secure everything in place. Once it's completed, your centerpiece should look something like this. For more information on our feathers or to check out more DIY projects, visit moonlightfeather.com.